Welcome back, Rams. I'm Colin Sanders, not Colin Shepard, as Carson Porterfield liked to say. And I'm here to share with you all the latest in Fort Collins Entertainment. We've all seen the giant Campbell's soup can outside of the UCA, but did you know there used to be more of them? They were made to celebrate Andy Warhol coming to CSU in 1981. And last Saturday, the Gregory Alicar Museum of Art held an event remembering that visit called Sabado Warhol. Frank Boring has been reviewing years' worth of archival footage of CSU, dating all the way back to the early 1900s. The footage is kept on a wide range of reels and tapes, and recently, Frank found a very enticing tape. And it was in the one-inch tapes that had labels on them that we discovered one simple name, Warhol. The tape contained footage of Warhol's visit to CSU, and soon after its discovery, Frank was approached by Lynn Bolin, the art museum's curator, as well as Francisco Leal, who wanted to create an event held in both English and Spanish that focused on Warhol. The idea of this Sábado Warhol is to invite people from the community to enjoy the art, to enjoy different types of art, is in reality a project that we started to develop in the future. Ojalá con otros artistas que puedan también atraer a la comunidad a este museo. The event featured many Warhol originals from the museum's collection, with descriptions in both Spanish and English, as well as exclusive footage of Warhol's visit to CSU. There were also guided tours of the collection in both languages. Dr. Leal says Warhol was the perfect subject for this sort of event. El arte de Andy Warhol es reconocible en todo el mundo, pero este museo también tiene piezas de arte nativo americano, de arte europeo, de arte africano. Entonces, qué mejor lugar que el museo con todo este arte universal para celebrar uno de los artistas más universales y la conexión que tiene el museo de su arte. Sabado Warhol drew a large crowd, and Frank says he's glad it could be held in two different languages. I'm very much a believer that you shouldn't limit uh, in categories, um, well, we're going to try to reach the Asian population. Let's do an Asian show. You know, this is a university. We can we can show cool things that anybody that of any group of people could be interested in. I mean, art reaches across all the horizons. Matt Leisman, CTV11. The museum hopes to feature more cross-cultural events like this in the future. Maybe this will be the big break of my finger painting series. Besides occupation by a couple of graduate students and various curious faculty, Colorado State University's foundry, a workshop for casting metal, has lied dormant for years. Now Scott Kreider and Mark Deneen, faculty members of the Department of Art and Art History, hope to bring back the use of the foundry and reestablish a love and respect for the archaic medium. Bronze pouring has been revered for, its set for centuries for its difficulty as well as its historical significance. With foundries closing all over the nation, Kreider and Deneen are determined to keep CSUs open for students' use. Well, the CSU Art Department may be working with bronze, but I think the, their work gets a gold. Whether you're looking for something to do in Fort Collins as a group or you just need to send the brood out for you so you can have some quiet time, here are a few ideas on things you can do in Fort Collins this cold season. With winter almost on our doorsteps, Fort Collins has a lot to offer us for when it gets cold. You can seek shelter inside the Museum of Discovery where you can take part in the Snow Dome Holiday Spectacular, Let It Snow, and the Mission Holiday Wrap-Up, all happening this December. Or you can head on over to Pinball Jones, located in Old Town, where you can order a nice brew, hang with friends, and reconnect with your childhood playing some good old-fashioned pinball. With Christmas about a month away, shopping for loved ones doesn't need to be ruined by the cold. Just head on over to the Foothills Mall, where you can shop till you drop and then interact with Santa Claus. But if the outside is where you want to be, you can go check out the limited time skate rink located in the center of Old Town right by Santa's workshop. The rink is open various times up to February 11th and tickets are $2 and skate rentals are $1. Then after that, just a short drive away is Ginger and Baker, a wholesome shop where you can wind down with some hot chocolate. Whatever you get up to, the temperatures will drop as 2018 ends and 2019 begins, so maybe save some of these ideas for a snowy day. 
whenever it comes. Personally, I'll be hitting all of those hot chocolate places. Modern artists strive to create unique styles that are separate from the great masters. Art is a medium that allows for flexibility and creativity to run wild. Jenny Goring, a Denver artist, does just that. Goring is an artist of many mediums, currently utilizing a unique and original art form she calls collage painting. Goring explained she wanted to work in a medium that allowed her creativity to flow while still focusing on a specific area of artistry. Goring has only been presenting her work in festivals for a year and a half, but still boasts an extensive line of awards and strong artist reputation. Good job to Goring. I once tried to be an artist, but let's just say that my work was too abstract for people to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching tonight, Rams. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for you. And on behalf of everyone here at CTV, I want to wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving break and a travel safe home for Turkey Day. I'm Colin Sanders, and have a good night, Rams. Thank you.